in this video, we're revealing the top three small business ideas to try this year and how complete beginners earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasilo, welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and the easiest way to make money online. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days with this new method. Check it out now. So, literally, before I started a bunch of small business ideas, where literally, you know, I went from zero to eight grand in 30 days with one business without having a product or service, another business literally pulls in zero to five grand in 30 days at 1.6 million that first year, which all of this is just shown on my blog, and another business, which is actually my favorite business that pulls in 35 grand and 46 grand a month with my digital real estate business. There was literally a point in my life, as you can see right here, where I had no idea what the heck what I was doing with my entire life. Right, like my entire life, they're like, oh Mike, go to school, get your grades, become a dentist, right? Or a nurse, or a lawyer, or an engineer. I mean, this was like the narrative that my Asian parents would tell me. And my entire life, I thought that this was the only possibility, right? So because of it, I was stuck into this mentality of these are the only ways to go ahead and make money and I can never go ahead and succeed with my own business because oh, don't businesses fail? Oh, don't most businesses succeed? Oh, I didn't go to college or have any like, for example, education in terms of business or accounting. Why would I ever go ahead and do this with my background is math and science? I literally didn't buy, believe in myself to go ahead and get started. But what I did have was a strong reason and a strong why. I didn't wanna see my parents like stuck working every single day for the rest of their life. I didn't wanna be stuck working every single day for the rest of my life and literally trading my time, my literally like precious time that I have on this earth to literally somebody else who doesn't appreciate how much I'm worth, right? So I had a strong reason, right? But when you have strong reason and a strong why, you still also need to build up your belief. And that's one thing that I did not have. I saw all these people around me, like what a lot of people see, like for example on YouTube, like these 16 year olds making millions in like 30 seconds and you're like, okay, well, I don't know about that, but heck, if I can make $100 a day, that would be good. And that was my goal when I was first getting started. When I was first starting my small business idea, I didn't care about you know making millions. I was like, heck, if I can make $100 a day profit, you know, I could like pay off my loans, I could pay off my debt, I could help my family, I could travel, I could not feel like I'm stuck anymore in this soul crushing debt, and I could actually start living my life. But getting to that point was the hardest. So if you're just getting started, what I recommend is one of the easiest small business ideas to start to get what is known as a belief check, just so you know that it's actually possible. And here's exactly what people get their first belief check in. If you literally go to, for example, eBay and type in the word bunk bed cherry, right? You'll see all these bunk beds that are essentially for sale. Right, and they're all pretty much the same. Now, if I literally pull up any one of these things, you see that, okay, 361 bucks, two have been sold. If I literally come into any one of these things and just go into the, like for example, description, right? If I grab the description and throw it up on Google, it will literally tell me where this person got it. And you can see this person got it from Walmart. Check this out. This person literally got it from Walmart. You can see right here. Here's this exact same product that exists here, except one is 361 bucks, our one is 249 bucks. So what I did back in the days, I would just post things on eBay, and if I made a sale, I would get the money right up front, and I would get the shipping details. So I would low riskly then buy it at a source at a lower price and then ship it directly to the customer. So even after eBay fees, that's nearly $50 profit, okay? If this person just makes one of those sales a month at $50 profit, that's like 50 bucks profit. But what if he has 10 products? That's $500. What if he sells 100 products, right, and just gets one sale? We can actually see the other items right now. You can see he has 490 results. So if he just gets one sale a month, say he only profits $10 per you know, product because he's selling some expensive things, right? And it's Indonesian rupiah because I'm in Bali right now, right, where I, for example, interview all these really successful people like this 11-year-old girl who turned on $30 million and this guy that makes a million dollars from profit. But if he, he's able to go ahead and just make a sale a month of all those, think about the income that comes in. But remember, this was literally what got me to believe because I started selling some toys on here and I got like a $20 check near Christmas and I was like, whoa, this actually works. Now, the second small business idea that you could start is also, like I would recommend doing that, but then the next step is to literally learning how to acquire a skill. Because in this marketplace, you literally get paid for the value you bring. Why does someone that works at McDonald's get paid like seven, eight dollars an hour and like a surgeon gets like a half a million dollars a year? A surgeon literally learns some skills that is more valuable than someone flipping burgers. Does that make sense? And it's the exact same thing on the online world. The people that make the most money were the ones that acquired the most skills. 
So once you start getting your belief check and you're like, okay, this works, right? Because you know this method might not last forever, but it's a good way to realize, oh, it works. The next thing that I would recommend you do is learn one of two things, either sales or marketing. If you like talking on the phone, you like talking to people, learn sales. It's very easy. You know, you can literally sell high ticket products. We literally have people in Bali just don't have a product at all. They literally just have their phone and they do high ticket sales for an existing company and they make a bunch of money, right? Like nearly six figures, just working a couple hours a week, right? I didn't go that, down that route. I went down the marketing route because I realized if I can learn marketing, I can leverage that skill to sell any product that I want. You know, a specific product like widget A might be in style now, but remember like the Zoom or the MP3s, they go out of style eventually, right? But what does not go out of style in business is sales and marketing. So I spent a lot of time in marketing. I learned things like, for example, Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, Pinterest, you know, creating content. Anything that I could do to reach people that are literally outside the comforts of like my own home to go ahead and buy said products or services, right? And the thing about that is people are literally making a good amount. Like you could go ahead and for example, get clients from Upwork, like what my sister does. And you can see exactly how much people like, for example, get paid for Google ads from all around the world. I mean, you see this person Esteban from Ecuador, literally $70 an hour. Slovenia, $75 an hour. This one, United States, $100 an hour. You can see this one right here, Steve, $105 an hour. He's earned over like $1 million. And you can see this one, $150 an hour. He's earned over a hundred grand. All of these things you could begin learning. And you can see like, if you just go to skillshop.withgoogle.com, you could actually go ahead and get Google certified for free and get started today. Now the third business that I started doing when I started learning a marketing skill, and this is literally what happened when I went from, for example, zero to five grand to for example, 1.6 million that first year, uh, multiple things happened. Number one, I had a belief that it could actually be done. And number two, I started learning paid advertising. Because the beautiful thing about paid advertising is if you could get it to the point where $1 you spent on ads, and it turns into $3, you could theoretically take the money that you made from your customers and spend more money on ads and just increasing the amount of profit you make. And that's exactly how, like if you literally look at this year, uh, you can see it went from nothing and it scaled high with paid advertising because of those two things. I had a belief that I could make money online from the first one and I had a skill set. In this, it was like paid advertising, right? And you could see that that alone is what literally blew it up like crazy learning paid advertising. But what a lot of people don't realize is it's a lot easier to get started. Like when I was doing this, I was selling my own products, right? So I created like a Shopify store where you can literally create a Shopify store for like 30 bucks or something like a month. And it literally has like all these templates where you could already, you know, begin selling. And I would go ahead and go back to eBay. And like, I remember I was like copying and pasting some of these products, these grill mats onto my Shopify store. So when someone would sell it, like I remember I was selling uh, two for like 40 bucks. I would then buy it here for like five bucks and ship it directly to the customer. Now the profit that I made from that, I would just spend more money on ads and that's how I scaled. Now the beauty of this method when I was like buying from eBay is I remember one of these people like ended up reaching out to me and they're like, hey, every time you buy from eBay, they charge us a fee. But if you buy directly from us, you don't actually have to click on buy now like what you did back in the day. We will literally just ship it for you and you don't have to pay us until 15 to 30 days later. It's called a net 15 or a net 30. I'm like, are you serious? And just doing that thing alone where it was a complete turnkey solution where it was plugged into my Shopify store, I essentially just became a marketing front while they did all the hard work in the back end, right? But of course that was like back in like 2015 and 16. There's actually a lot easier ways to do this method right now where you don't even have to do all of those logistics. I mean, with this brand new small business opportunity, we literally have people in our community, people like Dina, a stay at home mom at age 47 years old, go from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks. And if she was able to do it and hundreds of other people were able to go ahead and do it as well, then what's stopping you? So sign up for that free training in the link below as well. Check out this video and this podcast right here. Hopefully, self love you guys. See you guys later. Woo!